everybody! The Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association is now on Facebook. Just log on to your Facebook account. Oh, and if you aren't a member of Facebook already, trust me, it's super easy to sign up. Then just do a search for Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association and make sure you like our page and keep updated with all the DSOA news. See you in cyberspace. Welcome back to the show. Will Reynolds is with us and he's the outrider here at Harrington Raceway. So we're gonna start with the basics, Will. What is an outrider and why is your job so important? Well, we, uh, I get to watch and make sure that everybody stays safe. Um, if a horse gets loose, I'm, it's my job to go catch him. Or if there's a horse that's bad in the post parade, doesn't want to turn, I go turn them, go to the gate. When it's a little too much of a handful, we help the drivers. So I think probably the important part is, uh, you know, if, if we do have an accident, I go catch the loose horse so that it doesn't turn into more. Because I was going to say, the way that you're dressed now, I want to mention, so you've got like a safety vest on and you got your chaps on and whatnot. Obviously not wearing a top hat and a fancy red coat. So this isn't just for show. This is actually a whole safety thing, right? Right. This is this is a working job. It's it's not just not just parading them. Um, I do wear a helmet, but it's a, it's the same helmet that the drivers use. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, this is this is something that it, it's a hands-on job. It's not not just out there for the parade. Uh, and now, one of the things you also mentioned was helping the drivers out, like while they're scoring their horses down. If somebody's in the grandstand and they see you with the number six instead of the number two, you know, um, what does that mean, probably? Probably nothing other than his horse was a little hotter than the others. <laughs> um, I don't I don't have any favorites. They, you know, it's whoever gets to me first. If Somebody needs help, I help them, and you know, and it might be the next guy, the next race. So, okay. So when we say hotter, we don't necessarily mean temperature-wise. We just mean mentally-wise, right? Like the horse is kind of pulling the driver a little bit. A little more on the bit, you know, being a little honorary. Not might be using himself up before the race, and you know, if I can help him stay settled to where he has more to race with. Very nice, very nice. Okay, tell me about you. Like, have you been riding horses since you were a little boy? <laughs> yeah, uh, I was riding before I could walk. And um, I've done, I've, I've showed competitively at barrel racing. And, um, I won my first barrel race when I was three years old. <laughs> so um, I rodeoed, I rode buck, bucking horses, I rode bulls. It's just, I've done about everything. So, yeah, but this has been my life. Now, tell me about the horse. I'm not trying to take anything away from Will here, but I'm pretty sure that this guy is like the superstar of the show. Okay, yeah. so who is this? This guy gets all the credit. This is Oscar, and um, I've had him like two years. Uh, he had never done this, and he just took to it like a duck to water. He, was, um, he just picked right up on it, and the good thing about him is he's very fast. I've run a couple horses down with him that were loose, and as soon as I get them caught, like he just settles right back down, and you know, it will let me do what I need to do. So he, he gets all the credit. I'm just a passenger. We also want to mention that Oscar is not the one that gets paid like with checks. He gets big, big benefits otherwise, right at the track. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He he has everybody here trained. <laughs> he gets the um, the people, ladies at the food booth bring him iced tea. They bring him crackers. The starter feeds him mints. And uh, Karen Kraft, our uh, facility supervisor, she brings him carrots. So. He's got them all trained. <laughs> it's just, we're supposed to be doing the training, and he's, he's taking the cake here. So the next step is actually teaching Oscar how to talk, but that, that'll, that's up and coming. So I don't think he's too far from it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's, he, like I say, he gets all the credit because he's, he's the one out here doing the work. I'm just a passenger, and if you don't have a good horse, it's just like a racehorse. If you don't have a good horse, you're in trouble. So. All right, and we love him here because he's definitely not camera shy. So, and and neither are you. And thank you for being on the show so much, Will. Thank you. In our show topper number three, Twin Creeks Indy is owned and trained by Robert Mundell. The six, master of execution, goes behind the starting gate with Ross Wolfenden in control. And number seven, Raritan Bay has had a first, second, and third in four starts going into this race. There off, there goes Dreamy's bad boy out with Raritan Bay, farther out ideal location, giddy all you got up the inside. They race into the turn, Dreamy's bad boy, Raritan Bay. Giddy all you got, got away third, racing up in fourth is Prime Escape. Then comes Twin Creeks Indy, 
taking back now and getting in their six ideal location in front of Misfit Warrior. The trailer is master of execution. They head up the back stretch. There goes Giddy All You Got up to take the lead. Dreamy's Bad Boy back to second. Raritan Bay now third. Prime Escape is racing fourth, a length and a half in front of Twin Creeks Indy. 28 and three fifths, they race into the far turn. It's Giddy All You Got leading the way. Dreamy's Bad Boy in second, followed by Raritan Bay. Two lanes further back, Prime Escape. Behind Prime Escape, Twin Creeks Indy. Then it's Ideal Location. They race over toward the half, and it's Giddy All You Got a length and a half. Dreamy's Bad Boy, followed by Raritan Bay. On the outside, here comes Twin Creeks Indy. Prime Escape has the rail. On the outside, Misfit Warrior. Trailers are Ideal Location and Master of Execution, 57 and 4 fifths. Around the turn once again toward the back stretch. Giddy all you got with Twin Creeks Indy on the outside up in the second. Dreamy's Bad Boy back to third off the rail. Raritan Bay. Prime Escape inside fifth. Midway up the back stretch. There goes Twin Creeks Indy up to get the lead. Raritan Bay takes over second. Backing away. Giddy all you got off the rail just in time. Dreamy's Bad Boy. But a th three wide rush from the back of the pack by Master of Execution. 127 and 3 around the final turn. It's Twin Creeks Indy. Raritan Bay is alongside. Outside there, three deep, is Master of Execution. And they're at the top of the stretch, turning for home. Raritan Bay out in the center of the track gets the lead now, coming through the stretch. It's Raritan Bay, Twin Creeks Indy, Master of Execution. Raritan Bay and Twin Creeks Indy coming back. Raritan Bay, though. Raritan Bay wins for defending training champ Tim Chrisman in 157 flat. In the sulky was Tony Morgan, who got this three-year-old to the finish line just in the nick of time to win by a head. Raritan Bay is owned by Sam Jacobs and Chrisman Incorporated. There for the place money was Twin Creeks Indy and Master of Execution rounded out the trifecta. Thanks so much for tuning in this morning and head out to Harrington Raceway this week because we have got five nights of incredible action taking place Sunday through Thursday. First race starts at 5.30 each evening. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you at the track and God bless. I thought he was going to like lap it with his tongue. Oh no, he drinks it. Oh. <laughs>